is Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, the first thing you want to do is hit the subscribe button below the videos. That way you subscribe to our channel and you can get all the other great videos for free in your email that will teach you how to repel the pool and spa pumps. All right, so what we're going to do now is we showed you how to remove the diffuser cover. We showed you how to remove the impeller. We showed you how to remove the seal housing on the Stay Right pump. The next thing we're going to do is show you how to remove the through bolts and how to remove the motor armature out of the motor. This way you can see the bearings and replace them and have a quieter pump. Okay, so we've loosened a couple of these through bolts already, just to make it quicker on video. All right, so there you go. You want to use a quarter inch nut driver. You've probably seen me do this a million times in a million videos. Not that I actually have a million videos, but close to it. All right, so what you want to do is loosen those four through bolts. All right, now sometimes people are probably watching right now and they're going, hey, this wrench is from the other video. All right, uh, people are probably watching and saying, well, dude, you know what? Let's slow down, slow down. Oh, and we'll slow down. And Robert's taping this right now, and I think we have like four minutes left while we're recording this. Robert's like, dude, you better not slow down too much because you got only like three minutes left. So I haven't seen the two-minute signal. Okay, so just like the people that do the live video cast, <clears throat> here it is. Like, I'm slowing down, but at the same time, right, I'm just making the Oh, I should have rolled out. At the same time, okay, I got two minutes left, and now I'll tell you, at the same time, you want to make sure you remove these through bolts. But if you get stuck with through bolts, we have other videos. So that's what I'm saying to you. Yes, these through bolts are coming out nice, okay, but at the same time, right, at the same time, we have other videos that show you how to get stubborn and through bolts. So if you have stubborn through bolts, go to the search box, check for how to remove stubborn through bolts, and we'll show you how to remove stubborn through bolts. Okay, so now that I have removed the four through bolts, I'm going to tap this end bell just like that. Bam! Look at that. Pops the end bell right off just like that. Okay, so there it is. That's where my bearing sits. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my motor armature out just like this. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I forgot to take off the switch. So you've probably done that at home, too. And you know what? I'm not kind of, you know what? We made a mistake, because there's actually a switch in the back, and I have it disconnected. I'm going to show you that on the other video. And I've purposely done that. You're probably like, oh, Joe. I'm like, dude, what do you think? I don't know how to do that. Of course I do. So I purposely made that mistake, so you at home or get excited like I do, and you think, oh, four through bolts, bam. Oh, crap. I forgot the switch. All right, see you in the next video. We're going to show you how to remove the switch. This is Joe Tamargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. All parts are available at wetheadpumprepair.com. Make sure you subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace.